folks, I'm Ian Baker, and today we're going to go over the 2019 Flagstaff 29BHS. This is a fantastic family floor plan. I think they did an awesome job here. You have a big bunk room. You have the super slide here with the sofa directly across from the TV. You have a big shower and a monstrous bedroom with a ton of storage. Uh, one thing that is a little different in this floor plan is the refrigerator. You'll see they kind of stuffed it over here in the corner, but honestly, I think it works. It's out of the way and it's uh, very close to the door, which I like. A lot of times I'll come right in, I'll grab a beverage, head right back out. This allows you to do that pretty easily. I'll open it up so you can take a look at the size here. As you can see, plenty of room. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. So I'm taking a step back. If you look at the ceiling real quick, it's kind of tough to tell. It's a, it's a very subtle uh, curvature here, but you do have a curved ceiling. So having that barreled ceiling or arched ceiling, whatever you want to call it is great. Just gives you a little more room, makes it feel more open in here. LED lights, of course, litter the ceiling, make it nice and bright. And then you have your ducted AC with the quick dump right here too. If you take a look over at the super slide, you have this very comfortable tri-fold sofa. You get this decorative pillow here too, you know, spice things up a little bit, but uh, very comfortable sofa. And the fact it's a tri-fold is great because when this folds out, it uh, creates a pretty comfortable bed, a lot more comfortable than your standard traditional, you know, pull out sleeper sofa or air mattress, and it can comfortably sleep to adults. So if you have, uh, you know, a couple of friends or something that's coming to stay the night or you know, maybe uh, your grandkids are coming and, you know, your kids want to spend the night, your grown adult kids, they can sleep here too. They'll have to snuggle a little bit, but I'm sure they won't mind. Uh, you'll also see you have storage up top on both sides, tinted glass on there, so it kind of hides what's behind it. Some windows too to help brighten it up a little bit. Then over here is your big U-shaped dinette. I like having a U-shaped dinette. It gives you a little more room for everyone to kind of sit around, have a meal together, play games together. The table is completely removable. If you want to take this out, you can do so. This also drops down into a bed for some additional sleeping space. And then you will see you have storage underneath here too. If we bop back across the way, we'll actually take a look at the kitchen. Gorgeous, solid surface countertops in here. You have the large pop-up extension, so that way you have more prep space. Plus, you also have the sink top covers and the recessed cooktop with the cover and all that space over to the side there. So a ton of extra prep space in here. The decorative backsplash as well, you can see that. Electrical outlet in case you need to plug anything in right over here on the side. So a uh, cool thing about this, you know, this kind of doubles as a drying rack. So you can put stuff, you know, on here, have it dry out. This other one here is perfect for a cutting board. I'll take those off so you can see the undermounted under uh, double bowl stainless steel sink there. It's a double equal bowl. And then you have the high rise pull out faucet as well, making washing and rinsing those dishes just that much easier. If we look at the cooktop, this does fold back. You'll also see that right back here you have slots for knives. You want to put some knives right back in there. But this uh, folds up just like that. Opens up your three burner cooktop. You know, upgraded cooktop here, a little more residential looking. You have the chrome knobs. And then the large oven underneath. If you look at the size of that oven, it's a, it's a pretty good size. It'll allow you to bake quite a bit in there. Uh, right here, this drops down from the little sponge tray. This pulls out, already has a divider in there for your flatware. You don't obviously have to guess where it goes. And then underneath, some additional storage for pots and pans, things like that. Over here to the side, underneath all this prep space, open that up for you. Again, excellent spot for pots, pans, or if you want to put your dishes in there, you know, some of your plates, bowls, things like that. Plenty of room for it. Right up above is your TV. As I mentioned, this is directly across from uh, the sofa. You do have to look up a little bit, but honestly, I don't think the angle is too terrible. It definitely works. And plus you're camping, you know, you don't want to spend a ton of time inside. But then you have your sound bar mounted right underneath here for great sound quality. So that way you can enjoy, you know, that show or whatever late at night. You have a larger microwave here. So, you know, as it states, you can fit a full-size normal residential dinner plate in there, which is great. If you want to do a little bit of microwaving there, you have your hood with the light and fan, and then we'll open this up. You have storage on that side, and then of course, a little bit of storage here too. If you take a look right up top, you have a vent. So if you know you need to uh, get some smells out of here, you can open that up. And then right over here on the wall, an additional electrical outlet. I do want to point this out because that's important. When you pop that leaf up, you need to plug anything in, you have the capability to do it. Your thermostat will be right here. Uh, this one is a two zone system, so you can see that you can switch in between zone one and two. Uh, you know, so it does have the upgraded AC capability here with the thermistors. 
If we take a look at the bathroom itself, we'll sit right down here. So you'll see the, uh, the foot flush lever toilet. Now, uh, you know, it is a little tight in here as far as on the shoulders. I'm a pretty big guy. To be, to be honest, I wish they would have cut this back just a little bit to give me a little more elbow room here, but it's definitely manageable and I have plenty of room for my legs. But because they didn't cut it back, you do get big countertop space here, which is very nice. They also have this little floating shelf with, you know, a spot for toothbrushes, things like that, a little cup or whatever over here. Uh, electrical outlet. You'll see a tiny bit of storage there. It's mainly for access, to be honest. But a big sink, perfect for washing hands, brushing teeth, whatever. You got plenty of room there. You'll see the mirrored medicine cabinet right up top on the ceiling, a big power vent fan, couple of electrical outlets, AC, or your uh, AC duct there. And then over here, this is uh, something that I really like, is the size of the shower. So if we take a step in here, you can see how big this shower is, folks. I have a ton of room to move. That's something you just don't get very often in a travel trailer. <coughs> Excuse me, tri-slide glass door on here, skylight. You know, I'm six foot, I can stand underneath the ceiling no problem, but if you're a little bit taller, you have the skylight there to give you that much more room. Couple shelves in here as well. And then you have the hand wand right here. Now this one is equipped with the shower miser, so if you're looking to do some boondocking and you wanna be able to save on, uh, you know, your fresh water tank, uh, like I said, that one does have the shower miser there to assist with that as well. And then if we close this, we take a step back into the master bedroom. And I call it a master bedroom because look at the size of this thing. It is huge, it is fantastic. You have a slide out residential size queen bed here. So the full 80 inches, so your feet aren't hanging off. You have shelves on both sides, windows all the way around. You'll see additional storage up top. You have a light here as well. I didn't turn on as well as a couple uh, directional lights underneath the cabinets there. Right here on the wall, this is the thermistor for the bedroom I was talking about. So this is how it reads the zone for that thermostat. So you have your, basically your bedroom zone, your main living room zone. Then if you take a look right here at the foot of the bed, folks, look at that. Huge wardrobe storage. You have a hanging rod up top there. So, you know, if you're going to be gone for a while, you need a lot of clothes. This definitely allows you to do it. And underneath, you have deep drawers here as well. So a ton of storage all the way throughout here. As we take a step a little bit further in, some more storage right down there. Electrical outlet over here to the side. They did put a backer in the wall if you want a TV in the bedroom. Then the connections for that are right up top. Last thing I want to touch on inside is the bunk room. So this is a triple bunk room. You see the one right up top here. Nice thick mattress. Look at how thick that is. So that way it is nice and comfy for the kids. You know, they're not going to be feeling like they're laying on a piece of wood. Window up there it does come with a ladder, so it's easy to climb up here. You can also lift this up. It is strut supported, so that way, uh, you know, if the kids are sitting right down here on the sofa, they're not going to be banging their heads on the top there. Electrical outlet over here. Both of these do fold out, so this creates more sleeping space. And then take a look at this, folks. You have an access door here. We can see that a little bit when we're outside too, but you want to talk about a great way to load stuff up. You know, you can take these, put them up on this top bunk, and then just use all this for awesome storage space. You can store a ton of stuff in here. Right across from the sofa, you have TV hookups on this huge wall. So if you want a big TV in here, not that it's very far, they don't have to look very far, but you have the capability to do it. Uh, some additional storage right across the way here. And on the other side, again, you have that same thick mattress, an additional window right there. LED lights, a couple of AC uh, vents, they stay nice and cool. And then an additional vent right up top in case you just want to, you know, open up some windows and have natural airflow. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the Flagstaff 29 BHS. Right up front is a power tongue jack. This makes it a lot easier to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle. So all you have to do is flip a switch, does the rest of the work for you in, in the uh, form of raising and lowering the tongue. You also have an LED light on there for some extra visibility at night. Directly behind that, you have two 30 pound propane tanks. Most manufacturers will give you two 20s. This uh, has two 30 pounders on here and it's easy to access the, uh, in the cover. Just undo these two thumb screws, lift up the door and you are in. Right behind that, you have two batteries here on the rails. So bigger propane tanks, dual batteries, letting you camp longer. Can certainly appreciate that. Coming up the front here is a little bit of diamond plating just to help protect uh, the front end a tiny bit. Some of the rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. And you can see the front three quarter cap. Gorgeous front end on there. You see the windshield right here as well. Definitely giving it that, uh, you know, again, that extra kind of kick and flare. Just absolutely beautiful. 
and then you have the LED light strip on there for an extra aesthetic piece at night. Coming around to the side, you'll see this one not only has a power tongue jack, but also has power stabilizer jack. So this is the control right here for the front two. There's another control in the back for the rear two. Also has solar prep, bi-portable panels, plug it in right there. It's pre-wired and it will trickle charge your battery. You can see that power stabilizer jack right down there. Making our way back a little bit, large power awning on here. Touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in with an LED light strip on there. You also have a TV mount here if you want TV outside. That of course would connect your electrical outlet right down there and a cable outlet right next door. This is really cool. So this is access to your water pump as well as your filter. The reason I like this is if you notice right outside here, you have the antifreeze inlet right here. So as far as winterization, you know exactly where your water pump is. You can uh, winterize, it or <laughs> winterize this one nice and easily thanks to this little addition. So, uh, you know, they're definitely thinking of the consumer. Uh, right underneath that right here is your black tank flush. So if you want to uh, quickly and easily wash this out, you can just hook a hose up right there rather than having to stick it down the toilet. This is a mount for a grill. This unit does come with a grill. So uh, you just take it, mount it right on here. You have a uh, propane quick connect right underneath there. So you just pop it right into there. You're grilling away, cooking outside. You know, making everyone jealous with the delicious smells. You'll see a frameless windows on here, which are nicer windows. Not only they look nicer, but they protect the seals better because it's tucked behind the glass. Plus, because the way they open, they kind of tilt open like this. It allows you to open up these windows while it's raining, and the majority of the time, rain won't come in, but you can still get nice airflow. This right here shows this one also has the Wi-Fi Ranger equipped on there. That is LTE ready. So if you want uh, internet access, no matter where you are, you can get a subscription for essentially cellular data connection. Otherwise, it does work as a booster no matter what. Uh, that just comes uh, with the Wi-Fi Ranger system. So that way, if you have weak Wi-Fi at the campground, that will help improve the signal. Right up above that are your two outside speakers. Those are controlled by the multimedia center inside, but that unit is Bluetooth capable. And if you take a look right down here, you will see the beautiful aluminum alloy wheels. Uh, also, for what it is worth, this one has the uh, nitrogen filled tires on there. And then it also has your torsion axles. So uh, upgraded axles on there too. Making our way back a step further, you have the more ride step above step system. This is a much more stable system. You don't get that springboard effect, as you can tell as I'm walking up and down here. Aluminum treads, so they're not going to rust on you. Also has the grip tape, so if it's wet, you can get traction. Plus the large foldable grab handle, so that way you have that control from the very first step in, uh, you know, just again, so you're not slipping and getting hurt. Little light out here too, will light up your steps for you at night. Gotta love that. And then if we take a look at the outside kitchen area. So you have storage right up top, perfect if you want to put any big bottles up there, or maybe some cups, electrical outlet, you have this little additional prep space right here. You have the fridge, gotta love that, big old fridge there, so plenty of room for any you know, additional condiments, beverages, whatever else you want to stick in there. And it's the larger one too, not the half size. And then you have this fold out cooktop, just like so. It's not only does it come with a grill, you also have the cooktop, you have a couple different options as far as how you want to cook and then the propane quick connect for that is directly underneath. As I promised right here is this second control for those power stabilizer jacks in the back. You have the square tubular bumper on here. Uh, you can pop off the end caps, gives you a convenient spot for your sewer hose. City water inlet is right back here. Outside shower with hot and cold uh, access is there. Spare tire is mounted. You also have this plastic shroud to help protect it from the elements. That way it'll stay in good shape when you have to grid, uh, grab the spare and it's at a super easy spot to get to. You don't have to get underneath the camper. Rear mounted ladder so you can quickly and easily climb up onto the roof there. And you'll also see this one has a backup camera prep. So if you want a backup camera, having it installed will be easier, meaning it will save you money on labor. So we come around to the off door side. This is that big door I was showing you in the bunk room. So right here, are those two sofas. But as I mentioned, folks, you can move this out of the way. You would have all of this as just extra storage. So, you know, I know that you can obviously bring it through the entire camper, but that's kind of a pain when you're loading and unloading. Just putting it right in here through this door is way easier. 
So move up a little bit, you will see your fresh tank fill right here. If you plan on going somewhere you don't have water hookup, you'll certainly want some fresh water with you and that is where you will fill it up at. Cable and satellite inlet here, 50 amp detachable power cord right in front of that. Uh, as we move forward a little bit here, we'll actually take a look at the slide. If you notice right here, open this up for you. Look at that, you have some additional storage right there. It is magnetic, uh, which is fantastic. So you can just put it up there and forget it. It's also slam latch. So you shut it just like that. Nice high end slam latches on there. They work very well. If you take a look right in between the two slides, you can see termination right there. Pretty easy to get to in all reality. And then if you open this up, you will see again another additional storage area. This one is also quite large. This is underneath the bed up front, also magnetic. And again, this one is a slam latch. All right, folks, and that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2019 Flagstaff Superlight 29 BHS. If you're interested in this beautiful travel trailer and you would like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.